The NCAA Division I Council is recommending that the NCAA get rid of the one-time part of the transfer rule, right? Uh, Nicole Auerbach broke this. She said, uh, the Division I Council is recommending that the NCAA get rid of the one-time part of its transfer rule. Anyone would be able to transfer and have immediate eligibility if they meet academic standards. Athletes could transfer multiple times and play right away. Now, Pat Narduzzi, and we're going to talk about him a little more here in just a bit, but Narduzzi said at ACC Media Days, he said, it's hard to get a degree after two transfers. Are we going to let him transfer three times? Is getting a degree not important? Maybe we should uh, Maybe we should have him not go to school anymore, let him transfer, play somewhere every year. And that's effectively what's happening right now. Uh, I don't know that I like this. I, I thought that we were going to have some more regulations as far as transfer windows, et cetera, and all that has been brought up. But when you're bringing up these windows and everything, you're not setting a limit on how long it takes for them to actually choose where they're going to go to school. You're only setting a window on when you have to be in the portal. So this is this is going to be interesting because I don't think you're doing kids any favors by having literally no ground rules. Like I don't think anybody is doing any better by this. I think it's going to be even harder on the coaches because you build your roster based on the guys that you have there. Like, this is not, you can't just go in and, and pick up, obviously you can pick up guys out of the portal and whatnot, but you build your roster around certain people. I'm curious what this is going to look like if you know that you can just transfer at any time, right? Any year, you get tired of it, you can go, even if you just transferred there last year. That just seems like you are wanting to cause problems. Like I'm, I am a little bit shocked that this would be something that that might be up there. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little perplexed. I want to see what's going to happen. Are they actually going to take this into consideration? Are they actually going to do this? I don't think so. I don't think they will. But I mean, they've done dumber stuff. They have certainly done that. So who, who knows what will end up happening? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.